Hi, this is Nancy from Tattered Treasures, and I'm back with another haul video. I ran out of money for my birthday money, but it was no worry because Mother's Day came along, and my husband's not really big on buying me gifts or planning ahead, so he just gives me money, and then I can buy what I want, and I'm fine with that. So, I'm going to do it in two parts. Um, the first part is the vintage pretty things that I found on Etsy and then I found a couple other things from some other Etsy sellers and I'll do the rest of it in a second part because my husband's going to be home pretty soon and I don't think it's healthy or good for him to see everything I buy on the table at one time so I'm going to do that later. So the first thing I got is from the Art Fleezy and I love her store on Etsy. She's always got all these really really neat um, vintage items and all kinds of things you can use for crafting and altered art and I got these chandelier drops from her I got actually two orders of them there's two styles so these are um, some of them are two piece some are singles but how pretty are those those are beautiful and as you can see there's a good sized bowl of those here so that's two orders of those and then the next one is um, just the same, ah, I'm dropping them, the same chandelier drops, but in a different size. Some of these are smaller, and some are, this is a pretty big one, but um, a lot of them are like this. And some are singles, some have um, the wires, some don't, and some are um, in long strands. So, lots of those, a nice big bowl. And Virginia, if you're watching this, you're going to be having some of these come your way. I got the journal that you sent me. I love it, love it, love it. I'm going to do a video on that too. So, um, those are the chandelier drops that I got. And then I also picked up some vintage metal buttons from Patina Posh also on Etsy and they sell vintage and salvaged goods and I love buttons I love using the buttons and scrapbooking so she's got all different styles here that came in this lot and she's put each different style on a string so that they would stay together which is nice they don't no one does that very often these are anchors how cute is that for summer and beach themed projects Oh man, I'm going to drop things today. Oh, that's so pretty. Lots and lots of pretty buttons. And then my favorite, there's a couple of these. I love those. I think those are so pretty. Oh, here's another really interesting button. So those are from Patina Posh, and I've got a couple other little things from the Art Floozy as well. She's just so awesome. These are the old hotel key numbers, and I, I just picked up all the ones that she had left. So I have five of those, and one of them's the number 13, so not my favorite number, but I've already decided I'm using that in, an Hall in a Halloween album. I think it's going to be perfect. And she also gave me this rhinestone. This was a freebie, that um, a bonus. She put in my package a rhinestone necklace. So I'll have plenty of uses for that. This is also from Etsy. And this came from the Alchemy Shop. And that they're actually in Eastern Europe. But I thought it looked so shabby and it's, you know, just obviously very old and it's been through a lot <laughs> but I think it's going to be perfect for a mini album so that's what I'm using it for and I got two more of the keyhole plates here and I won these in an eBay auction so those are identical and then the next part of this haul um, last time on my last haul video I showed you some hand stamped ribbon 
from Homestead Treasures. And um, Mary is um, the shop owner there. So homesteadtreasures.etsy.com. And she, grown, she grows her own organic lavender. And she makes these sachets as well as the hand-stamped ribbon. And look at that. It's so pretty. Most of these things, are I've just already unwrapped everything because I have a bad arm and it hurts to unwrap things. So, um, I just every I just set everything up ahead of time. But look how pretty that is. Even the little tag that she made to go on it. It's all so shabby chic. And I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. I use these all over my house. I love them. I love everything she makes. So now for the rest of this video, I'm going to move the camera over. Actually, this is my second time making this video, but because of these buttons, I had to redo it because I couldn't find a good way to show them to you. So I'm going to try it this way. And this is from Scrapalicious on Etsy. And she makes these, um, let me see if I can get them into the camera here. She makes these beautiful, vintage, inspired buttons. And let me see, how can I do this? There. Well, you all know I'm just really new to using my camera, so I'm going to have to just take it slow. And I'll look at, these are the um, vintage items. There's a sewing machine, a telephone, all kinds of things. There's a camera, a scale, so cute. So I got one set of those, and then I got a set of these crowns. Let me try to turn them right set up. So I got the crowns here. And I love those. I love everything she sells too. Oh, well, I guess I just love everything that I see, apparently. <laughs> okay, and then these are birds. But these are just so perfect for scrapbooking. They're just perfect. Let's see if I can get them in there. I won't show you every single one of them because that would just take so much time. But I'll bring a few of them up here so that you can see them. This one's so cute. I'll bring him up there. I love birds. And we actually have house finches nesting on our front porch inside my um, hanging pot. They nest there every year. And so there's songbirds, and I can hear them. I'm going to have them there for about a month, and sometimes they'll make a second nest in the summer. They um, have more than one. I think it's a brood. Is that what it's called for birds? I'm not really sure. But they live in our yard, and we I really enjoy them. And these are Paris-themed. I, I hope that I'm getting this on there. It seems like it's not very clear. These are hard to show without just actually bringing them right up to the camera. And it still seems to me like it's kind of blurry. So if you're not enjoying this very much, I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to do it better. And then I got some butterflies. Had to get some butterflies. Lots of butterflies here, all different styles. And then there's just one more group, and that is the pretty um, vintage girls that she makes out of vintage photo images. They're so pretty. So she's scrapalicious.etsy.com. So hard to show. Okay, so that's my haul. And I thank you for making it all the way to the end. If you've watched all the way through with all of the problems I had there at the end. And I will be back with the rest of my haul video when my husband goes to work on Monday. So thanks so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.